you doing? You've got a large round body for a little droid. I am not a wannabe Ewok. You like DVDs more than 4K? Well, you know what I think of that. <coughs> DVDs. <laughs>is Big Pauly back for another What's in the Poundland bin? That's right, it must be Sunday again. Should we have a look and see what we're going to pull out this week? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> Poundland Bin, hello. Let's have a look and see what you're going to spit out today. Let's do it. We're going to go down the right hand side today. And guess what? I can feel something that's actually. Is it sealed? Is it sealed? finger stuck between two blu-rays oh that painful okie dokie oh yes oh russell 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 who the hell is russell okie dokie what have we got what have we got what have we got isn't this exciting isn't this really exciting and it's upside down <laughs> Oh, God. Flip it over. Oh! Wow. Oh, my God, what a cast. Michelle Williams, Kenneth Branagh, Eddie Redmayne, Emma Watson, and Judy Dench. My Week with Marilyn. She does look good there. Michelle Williams as Marilyn Monroe, 15 certificate. Never seen this, never seen it. Oh, that looks good. Okie dokie. Well, let's stick it in the old player and see what our week with Marilyn's like. Okay, so here we go. Rappings off it. <gasps> oh, and we got some discounts. No digital codes. <laughs> and you get. Ooh, okie dokie. Yes, looks nice and clean. Down to the player. <gasps> Hulk smash. In you go. And let's shut it up. Meow. Okay, so the old disky's ready to spin. So I've got my cold drink as usual. Plus, I've got some lightly salted popcorn and popcorn. So, let us begin. Oh, yes. I'm going to fall in love with you. I'm going to fall in love with you because I always, always do. Okay, so just finished my week with Marilyn. Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I thought that was a really good film. Um, very heartwarming and uh, comical. 
Yes, brilliant cast as well. Uh, Michelle Williams as Marilyn Monroe. Pulled it off. She Brilliant she was in that. I see that she won the Best Actress for the Golden Globes. And also Kenneth Branagh won Best Supporting Actor as well at the Critics Circle Awards. But yeah, really good she was. Absolutely brilliant. I can see why she won that award. Basically, it tells the story of Colin Clark, this chap here, which is Eddie Redmayne, who's kind of like fresh out of Oxford, and he heads down to London. He wants to get involved in the film business, so he wants to learn production and all that kind of stuff. Um, and he's trying to get in with Sir Lawrence Olivier, played by the brilliant Kenneth Branagh who is also fantastic in this film. So he goes down to London, um, hangs out around the offices of Sir Lawrence Olivier in the hope that he'll get noticed, spotted, and that they'll give him a job, even if it's carrying the tea <laughs> on set, which actually, that does happen. And it's all based around the filming and the production the schedules and everything um, of the film The Prince and the Showgirl. Um, and it shows Marilyn a kind of a vulnerable side. Um, coming over to the UK to film, you know, she's not sure if people actually accept her as a proper serious actress. She always second guesses herself. And she's just trying to be accepted, trying to be accepted as a proper serious actress. Now, as for Kenneth Branagh, who plays Sir Lawrence Olivier, um, I think he also did a brilliant job in the film. And he brings across kind of the comical side, but the agitated side, because he's in charge of this big production at Pinewood Studios, trying to get this film made. And either Marilyn's late every morning, or she messes up her lines... Um, and, you know, he's mumbling under his breath, um, cursing, sarcastic remarks, that kind of thing. So he's very agitated that this production is not going as smoothly that he would like it to. And the thing about with the portrayal of Marilyn is that you can see this is based around the problems that she was having, you know, with like prescription drugs and, and maybe sleeping pills. And, and that things. was contributing to... Her lapsing, turning up in the morning, maybe oversleeping, um, learn, you know, forgetting her lines, so it was affecting her. And Eddie Redmayne's character, Colin, also takes a shine to a young, uh, maybe seamstress or uh, an assistant. Uh, I'm not sure what role she had, but it was Emma Thompson. She's not in it a lot. She's not in the movie a lot, but he takes a shine to her, asks her out, that kind of thing. But then a relationship evolves between Colin and Marilyn. And he takes her out to see the sights, Windsor Castle. Um, they go skinny dipping and all that kind of stuff. And it's basically this whole week, this whole week with, with Marilyn, which is the beginning of a, a possible romantic relationship. Um... Although she is already married, newly married to her third husband, Arthur Miller, the playwright. And they are actually on their honeymoon in the UK. The film also stars Judi Dench and Doug Ray Scott as well. So it's, it's a, quite an impressive, impressive cast. But yes, it's a very light-hearted, um, in a way troublesome, because you can see the pain that Marilyn's going through. Um, and you can see her trying to be accepted. But, and uh, and Eddie Redmayne as this kind of young, hungry 23-year-old potential film director, or, you know, in the production. Uh, and also this infatuation with Marilyn that he's got. So, yeah, I, I did thoroughly enjoy it. The pacing was really good for the film. The production was really good. And it's, it was nice seeing all these on-set production pieces, you know, like behind the camera and what was going on behind this film uh, and all the people that were involved. So that was really nice. And also 
the outside scenes when they were at like Windsor Castle and, and out going out for a walk. So that was really nice. So the picture quality was really good. Lots of like greys and browns and some darker colours that you would imagine from, you know, period pieces of like the 50s, which was this was set in like 1956. Uh, and also the cars, the beautiful cars in that as well. The sound was really good. It's a DTS Master Audio 5.1. It was upscaled on my system to neural. Uh, but there was a lot of use, not overuse of bass, but there was a lot of use of the surrounds. When it came to things like when they were out for the walk, you know, you could hear the birds tweeting, branches crackling behind you, and like the music scenes and maybe the theatre scenes, you could hear people clapping around you. So it was a good use of the uh, the surrounds for the film. Very clear dialogue as well, uh, and really good music used for the film. Um, okay, there are a few extras on here. We've got a bonus extra, an audio commentary uh, with the director, Simon Curtis, uh, and also the untold story uh, of an American icon. So a couple of extras, which is uh, definitely worth checking out. The film is region locked B. As I say, it's DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 and the film is 99 minutes. So just under 100 minutes. But uh, all in all, yeah, a really good, thoroughly enjoyed film. Usually not my type of thing because I'm kind of like into like action and science fiction and and it's good to put on a comedic uh art piece <laughs> well for me it's arty anyway but um yeah really enjoyed it really enjoyed it and actually because of that i'm kind of interested to see what the actual film's like itself <laughs> and just to see how things turned out so i might try and track down that the actual movie um, and see how that turned out. But uh, yeah, all in all, really enjoyed the film. As a rating of 1 to 10, um, I'm actually going to give it... I'm going to give it 7.5. I know, I don't normally give it halves. But um, it's not quite an 8. Um, but it's more than a 7. So we'll give it 7.5. But yes, really enjoyed it. Okay, so now we have to find out exactly where it's going. Is it going up on the shelf or is it going in the recycling bin? <gasps> Let's decide. Okay, so, as I say, I thoroughly enjoyed this film. I can see myself watching this film again. Um, and I don't want to get rid of it because, as I say, I want to watch the original movie that this was based around and compare them and then maybe go back to watch this one again. So, yes, I am keeping this one. This one is going on my shelf at least for the time being. So I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of What's in the Poundland Bin and My Week with Marilyn. Let's do it again next week. Same time, same place. <laughs> Until next week, goodbye my friends.